Nigerian woman faces 30-year jail term for $1.9 million fraud in U.S. Lola Shalewa Barbara Kasali, a 24-year-old Nigerian woman, is facing a maximum 30-year jail term in the United States of America for a $1.9 million COVID-19 relief fund fraud. A federal jury convicted Kasali who lives in Texas Wednesday, December 8, for defrauding the Paycheck Protection Program, PPP, of over $1.9 million in loans guaranteed by the Small Business Administration, SBA, under the Coronavirus Aid, Relief and Economic Security, CARES Act. The United States Department of Justice, DOJ, said court documents show that Kasali submitted two fraudulent loan applications to two different lenders on behalf of her companies, The Last Level and Charm Hair Extensions. DOJ disclosed that through these loan applications, Kasali sought over $3.8 million in PPP loan funds. Kasali falsely represented the number of employees and payroll expenses in each of the PPP loan applications. To support these applications, Kasali also submitted fraudulent tax re records. Kasali ultimately received over $1.9 million in PPP loan funds. The Justice Department, along with its law enforcement partners, seized the funds that Kasali fraudulently obtained. Kasali was convicted of two counts of making false statements to a financial institution and two counts of bank fraud. She is scheduled to be sentenced on February 25, 2022 and faces a maximum penalty of 30 years in prison for each count of conviction. A federal district court judge will determine any sentence after considering the U.S. sentencing guidelines and other statutory factors. On May 17, 2021, the U.S. Attorney General established the COVID-19 Fraud Enforcement Task Force to marshal the resources of the Department of Justice in partnership with government agencies to enhance efforts to combat and prevent pandemic-related fraud. The task force investigates and prosecutes the most culpable domestic and international criminal actors and assists agencies tasked with administering relief programs to prevent fraud, fraud by, among other methods, augmenting and incorporating existing coordination mechanisms, identifying resources and techniques to uncover fraudulent actors and their schemes, and sharing and harnessing information and insights gained for proud enforcement efforts. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe so you can get notifications.